Do you know how it is when you learn how to ride the bike to swim? Are you ready for the bungee jumping? Imagine that feeling. You being scared, afraid, even when you say some few words in a new language, you are ashamed. Imagine that feeling of being ashamed and fearing and not knowing if something good is going to come out of this, lasting for months and months. If you came three years ago to Parc du Vincennes, you would have found me in the farmer's market selling honey. After I finished my master in France, the one I loved about creative industries, I was looking for a job where I could make something useful, where I could use my ideas. But meanwhile, because I didn't find that, I had to leave. So I took many opportunities and I did jobs that I was never expecting to do. I will come back to my experience where I worked in the Fashion Week in Paris. And I even did crowdfunding for short movies. At one moment, I started to learn how to code, to make websites as a freelancer. And at that moment, after many failures, many errors, I discovered Simplon. Simplon was a free training offered to unemployed people or coming from disadvantaged areas who are willing to learn how to code, either to get a job or to make their ideas happen. That was so amazing for me, to have all those people, to have trainers around to build ideas. Wow. But guess what? First time they got me in, I was so scared again. And I was doubting that I will ever be capable of learning how to program. At that moment, I stumbled upon a story that was in the media. It was about Leo and Patrick, who were living in New York City. And Leo was a homeless guy, Patrick passing by, a techie working in an educational startup. And seeing those Leo, he thought about an experiment. He thought to propose Leo $100 or the chance to learn how to code and make apps. After some months, Leo makes an app that makes $10,000 in the App Store. That's successful, no? Well, it turns out that Leo is still in the street. Leo is still a homeless. And what I saw in that story made me think about the situation that happens today in our society with our young people. We have young people with ideas who are not able to do anything, not because they are homeless or they don't know, it's because they lack self-confidence, because they are jobless. They are jobless. And it turns out that when I was in France, the situation was not getting back better. Looking on the statistics, more and more young people were not able to find a job, like me. So while I was learning how to code and getting those skills to become a web developer, I realized that is not the skills that you need. You need that environment where people encourage you, where people give you advice, guidance, and they, f they help you find a way. They are with you there. And this is what you need. And this is what I wanted to give to people. I wanted to give this chance to everyone, not only to learn a new skill that would help them find a job, but have the empowerment to do anything through technology. So this is how, after four years, I decided to come back in Romania and to bring Simplon in Cluj. When I came to Cluj one year ago, 
I wanted to develop a school where unemployed people were learning how to code to get a job or make a business. And I had no fucking idea how to do that. Everyone was saying to me, okay, your mom is a teacher, you're gonna make it. But that wasn't close enough to develop a school. So it was hard. And every day I learned new things. I learned so much and never expected the results that we've achieved today. Victor is from Yash, and he joined our program in Cluj, willing to make a business at the end of it. He was a dropout. He entered many universities and never finished one because he couldn't find his place there. And he had many jobs. In Cluj, he discovered the VR glasses and the 3D printers, and he turned back in Yash to make a production chain and to create personalized objects in order to make money and follow his dream. His dream is to create plastic prosthesis for poor kids. Marius is a web developer now, and he's also a student in Music Academy in Cluj. He wants to mix code with technology, code with music. He's doing this, and together with Alexandra, who also participated in our program, they are building a web app for people to plan and organize their dream weddings. Georgiana is another kind of nerd that came to our program. She has quitted school to hack school. She wanted to make an e-learning platform for people to learn physics through gamification. Today she learned a new programming language through which she can contribute to open source projects using big data in journalism. I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of all who finished and who are now doing things that they've dreamed to do. People say that code is giving you superpowers, but I believe it's people who give you superpowers, and they are my superheroes today. I used to be the blonde girl from PR. I used to, to sell cosmetics, real estate projects, and even future technologies to journalists. Today, I help people create those technologies. And you know that everyone is using a smartphone technology in general, but very few people know how to use this technology to create something, to create new jobs, to act, to empower people, to have an impact on society. I think code is embedded in the way we travel, we work, and we learn. And I think code is embedded in our future. So if we want a better future, and we want a, a future where our kids will have a good living, then we must teach them how to code. And we've started. We have 200 kids that learn the basics of programming with us while having fun, playing, experimenting, and using their creativity. You will see outside that in the hall we are waiting you with some of these experiments that we are doing with Hackidemia. So we are doing this every Saturday. And I have this vision about education. And I'm trying to build a system where everyone, kids, old people, autists, genius people, can make use of their know-how and passion to do something useful. I see through all these experiences how we can do this with programming and science. I get requests every day from people saying to me that they need tech people to solve a solution, to do, uh, to do something about an issue they've encountered in their activity. 
They need us, like this guy who built a school in Kenya, and where kids are waiting in a queue to have access to education, where an e-learning platform could give them that access to knowledge. We could help them. And he hopes that one day our kids in Cluj will exchange tips and tricks with those kids in Kenya about programming, about programming that future where everyone would have a chance to learn and to use his know-how. Because Georgiana's stories, Marius or Victor's, could be anyone's stories. And whether you are a doctor, a psychologist, whether you work in bank or in journalism, I think you can use your know-how to make something valuable. I think that we have this huge opportunity today. And if I am here, it's because Simplon gave me a chance. It's because some people gave me a second chance. It's because I gave myself that chance. So I encourage you today to think how many chances we could give if we would use our tech talents in Cluj, in Romania, to give a second chance to people, to teach them how they could use the technology to create a better future, how they could seize the opportunities that we have now. Maybe the chance that you will give will impact someone's life. Maybe the chance that we will give will impact the world. Maybe not. But there is one thing I am sure, that not knowing what the future can bring to us can be our best motivation to do something. Thank you.